Good morning children today we shall learn the properties of soil and why there are different types of soils if a farmer wants to grow tomato would he be able to grow it without soil well as we know every crop requires certain type of soil if someone has a piece of land he needs to know the soil otherwise he might sow wrong seeds which wouldn't grow into a plant you may have a garden space but if you don't know about the type of soil you can't make a nice garden you know there are many things that make the soil fertile let us take a little fertile soil from a garden and find what it has first we take the soil in a container and cover it with a lid then we heat the container if the sunlight is intense we can also keep the container outside in the direct sunlight for few hours then we open the lid look there are drops of water on the lid where did it come from well the soil contains water and when we heat the container that water turns into vapor later the water vapor touches the lid and cools down to form water droplets so this shows soil has water the plants absorb this water through its roots now we take some soil in the container and pour water over it look some air bubbles are forming it shows that the soil contain air when we pour water the air which was trapped in small gaps between the soil particles escapes in form of a bubble this air in soil provide oxygen to the roots of the plant for breathing many animals which live in soil like earthworm etc use the air trapped in soil for breathing the ability of holding water and air is not same in different soils if we just look around we can tell there are different kinds of soil but why are they different we need to know what soil consists of in order to know the difference between the various soils let us take handful of soil from the garden let us take a glass tumbler and fill 3/4 part of it with water we then add some soil into the water and stir the water with a stick don't disturb the water for next few minutes look three different layers are formed these layer are formed from different particles of the soil the bottom layer consists of small gravels that is stones and pebbles above that is the sand layer and above the sand layer there is a layer which consists particle which are smaller than sand this is called clay so clay is the smallest particle in the soil look something is floating on the water look closely you may find dead leaves decayed organic substances etc this is humus humus provides nutrients to plants and makes the soil fertile so now we know in general soil consists of small pebbles or gravels it also contains sand clay and other particles too the air and water are also present in the soil the dead leaves decayed organic substances found in the soil form the fertile humus if a soil has the right structure to trap air water in it and has the right amount of humus to provide nutrients to the plants it would be fertile you know earthworm lives in soil and makes the soil loose and then soil can trap more air and water can also enter the soil easily so no wonder the earthworm is known as a farmer's friend that is all for today children bye bye